Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we are going to talk about another very important value of target attribute, which is underscore top. Okay, so I'll explain you this uh, particular topic with the comparison of underscore self and underscore parent because these all values are easy to understand if we do the comparison between them. Okay. So just to make it very clear to you, I'll go and create a program which covers the difference between parent, self as well as top. Okay. So we will proceed in the same way. Firstly, I'll walk you through the code. We will try to understand the requirement and then we will note down uh, the code. Like we will just simply write the code and we'll verify the output. Okay. But before we start the session, I would like to recommend you to please go and check out the previously released session first because they all are in proper sequence and sync. So if you follow them sequentially, then it would be very easy for you to understand the ongoing topic. For now, we are just focusing on the difference between self, parent and top. Now self and parent we have already discussed as a difference in previous session. So in this session is in the continuation of the same where we are going to add one more type, which is underscore tab top. And at the end, we will also conduct one session where we will see all these difference in a single or maybe you can say all these value in a single example. Okay. So I think now we are good to start with the code. So let's look at the code, the first page. And for this example, we need three page because I want to make a hierarchy. So if you have watched the previous session there, we used two page because we were talking about the self and parent only, but this time we are also using the underscore top. So for that, we need to build a hierarchy of three pages. So the first page is quite simple and don't go uh, on the page number of pages. Okay. Because the code which we are writing is very easy. It is not tough, right? Okay. So right now you can see here we have TS uh, PGM 83 underscore V1 which is a simple page here. And in this simple page, we have one heading, which is HTML by texture myth and a page heading, which is page one. This is a title, which will came in the tab name. So let me show you the output, not tab, the page name. So you, here, this is the title coming here, texture myth. And this is the heading, uh, HTML by texture myth and the page one. So now what we are going to do here in this page, we are going to create another iframe or you can say the first iframe for this page. So right iframe, those who don't know what is iframe, iframe is an element which allows us to embed the code of another HTML page. Or you can say it helps us to show the another HTML page in the main page. So for that here we are supposed to pass the source from where it will refer the page. So here we will give the name tspgm83. Uh, v2 83 tspgm83 underscore v2 dot html now we will set the width of this page so let's add the width in width we will write 100 percent then we will write the height in height we will write um, 400 pixels okay now we are ready with this so let's save it and refresh the web page so now you can see in the first page, we are referring the second page in an iframe. So this border is showing the iframe clear. Fine. Now this is all for the first page. We are just going to add only these line. Okay. So let's move to the second page. In second page, we have almost same thing. Heading HTML by texture myth H2 heading page two and the title of the page. So let's add one iframe here because we are going to create the hierarchy of multiple pages. Okay. So here, let me remove it. Iframe. Then we will write here. Uh, iframe. We have just mentioned the iframe after iframe. We will write here. SRC, which will refer the page 83 underscore V3. So TSPGM at 83 v3 83 underscore v3 dot html you can keep any page name but make sure that you are referring the correct page here we will put the same thing uh, which is height and width so firstly we will write width which is 100 percent then we will write the height which is 
400 pixels okay let's save this code and refresh your browser so now you can see page one is there in which we have iframe then we have page two uh, which also contain the iframe for page three so we are ready with this code as well now it's time to go and write the final code in page three so here we will add the form because now we want to learn about the types of values that we can pass here so let's add one simple form here i'll write one button in button we will write submit and the first type would be self clear this is just for your introductory purpose then here we will write the type in type we will write the submit and then we will add one input field in input field we will write the type which is text name which is username placeholder which is again a username fine so we are ready with this thing just add action so that we can see the output in a proper manner so here we will write action if you don't know what is action please refer the previous session this is already covered so action then we will set the target as underscore self all right so we are ready with this thing now it's time to add comment just to show you the difference okay so here we will write hi hyphen hyphen and here we will write form using target equal in target we will write underscore self clear now save it this code and refresh your browser so now what will happen if i put something here and click on the submit button it will replace only the first frame or the first iframe got it so this is called self submission because here if we target the thing with self it will only replace this iframe not the previous two okay fine now to save the time we will just copy paste the form and add it as per our requirement to understand the difference so this time we will talk about parent likewise we will change here as well and here as well okay let's save this code and refresh your browser so this time if i submit the form with some data and click on submit parent it will replace the second iframe page 2 iframe right so this is how it works okay it just moved to parent iframe means second iframe likewise if i copy this code again and right here and this time we are going to talk about the new value which is top so here we will write top and in this place also we will write top and just save it and refresh your code so this time if i write a myth and click on the submit it will replace the entire page which means when we are using top attribute it will go to the topmost page and replace the content with the actual form values or navigation page clear so i think now with these differences it is clear when to use self when to use parent and when to use top they all are easy in fact don't go with the page num number of page because it is just for the hierarchy maintenance although you can see we are just writing the simple lines of code the heading and the iframe okay so i think now this session is clear to all of you like how we are using uh, these pages to create a hierarchy to understand the process of uh, underscore parent underscore so uh, underscore self and underscore top clear so yeah that's all for today now i request you to please uh, do share the knowledge of a question that i'm going to share with you now so you just need to write the answer for a question which is what is the difference between underscore parent and underscore self so this thing we are, we have also included in this particular session and also di discussed in detail in last session so please do share your knowledge in the comment section those who will provide the correct answer consistently will be spotlighted in the upcoming session okay so yeah i think because it will not only help you to learn the thing but it will also help others to understand the ongoing thing so yeah that's all for today 
in the next session we will discuss few more thing so thank you for watching texture myth